So we came to visit one of the cenotes. I think they're just like a natural well. We drive one hour here from the hotel and apparently it's closed to the public. Like you need to be staying in the hotel to be able to access the, the well. It's a, I, I thought it would be like a public place. Like no one could own it, but apparently you can own natural wells around Mexico. So yeah, I mean, we're just gonna drive around and see if we find another one. I have no reception here, so I can't find another well, but yeah, I guess we are on a hunt for a well. Welcome back to another video, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, this is part two of our honeymoon in Cancun. Part one is my last video where we were in a different hotel. Now we're staying at the Hard Rock Hard Rock Cafe or Hard Rock Hotel, whatever it's called. I'll give you a little tour of the of the room later on today. But for now, we've just done a squat or a leg session in the gym. We drove quickly down here to find the well, which we didn't find. So now let's head outside of this massive complex. There's like golf courses. There's like three different hotels. There's private residences. This thing is incredibly huge. We need to head out and figure out if there's a well or a cenote close by that we can visit. That's a kid's one. Yeah, it exists. No, you don't fit on that. Of course I do. Just in case I need it, okay? We never know. Life jackets are optional. I don't think I need it. <laughs> we found some more wells, which are kind of more, I mean, they're more public because they're not inside a hotel. There's like maybe four or five in the same area, all one next to another. And you need to pay, but almost nothing. We paid, what, how much did we pay? I think that this was, around was it 200 10, Mexican pesos? Yes, 10 That's dollars. 200 is about 10, maybe 11 USD, US dollars. At least it's not very crowded, this one. Anna, Anna doesn't like fishes <laughs> and it's full of fishes. Completely see through water. Can you go to the other side or something? Yeah, there's some caves. You can swim into the caves. You want to swim through the caves? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> this is amazing. Anna is not too convinced about it, but Perfect place. it looks very nice. I love it. No, honestly, let's, it's really, really nice. I mean, let's jump inside. It's amazing. Yes, it's okay. The only thing is that I'll need to leave the camera here. And there's a lot of people around and there's more to it oh this is the other side of the cave obviously so you swim through the cave and you end up here and there's more over there oh my god this one's a little bit quieter a lot less people but wait before we go inside or before we get into the water what are those <laughs> well, they are terrible. What the stuff. fuck are those? <laughs> it's cool. Come on, you can it's do it. Freezing. You can do it. -na -na -na. I'm not gonna last long. Oh, that's what she said <laughs> in that in that cold water. <laughs> Love uh, you. Stop laughing! I always last <laughs> enough. Let's see. Enough to marry you. Mm. Take my duck tags off. I'm gonna lose them. Come on. Then put excuses and let's get in. Enough. You know? Can we get out now? No, no. Can you show the fishes? Do it. I don't think they can see them through the because of the the reflection of the of the light. There are a lot of them. I think. Anyway. Come on. Go. One, two, three, go. Venga, mamá huevo. Mariquilla, dale. One. Two. Two. Three. Nope. Go. Fuck, 
I'm gonna get a, a life vest. Otherwise, I'm gonna get too tired just trying to stay afloat. Really? Do you? Floating vest, yeah. But you use mine? Just, I know you're fine. I don't fit in yours. <laughs> Stop! It's cold, eh? I don't know. It is terrible. I don't think that I can get in. She was making fun of me. Where are you going? Un poco... It was fun, but I wanna, I wanna dive in. Otherwise, you know, it's not that fun just jumping off a cliff. Now, I think this video. Mm. I feel like talking about diet on this video. I think I'll, t I'll give you all the tips on how to travel on holidays and stick to your diet. Breakfast time. I usually like to go for a huge ass omelette. So this is like a seven to eight egg whites with uh, three whole eggs. So there's about 10 eggs total here. And there's some ham, tomatoes, uh, onions and spinach on the inside, no cheese. For carbs, I have some some toasted bread, some English muffins, pancakes, French toast, and also some bakery stuff, so some croissants, and I don't know what this stuff is. It's like cream cheese filled croissants and whatever. I have no idea what the plan for the day is, but I know we're leaving the hotel again soon. When I know I'm leaving the hotel, I always opt for a very, very, very high protein breakfast. So that's why the the huge ass omelette, and we're also gonna go train straight after. So big portion of, of carbs as well. I'm not cutting or bulking really, so I'm not going either too big on breakfast or too small. I just want to make sure I get a lot of protein, so I don't have to worry about protein for the rest of the day. I know, I know we're gonna come back for dinner at the hotel, so. I know that whatever protein I need, I'll just get a, a dinner, but I don't have to stress about not getting protein throughout the day. Like That really doesn't concern me at all. As long as I hit my daily calories, especially when you're on holidays. When you're on holidays, don't stress about eating every two or three hours or you know, eating all your meals. Like, make sure you enjoy your holidays. So if you're thinking about what I need to eat and you're wasting a lot of money uh, outside of the hotel in food, then that's it's not ideal. Just make sure you get all your calories in. Make sure you get all your protein. If you have breakfast included, make sure you get a big, big omelette or... They also do poached eggs. They also do like scrambled eggs. So you have a lot of choices. Um, fried eggs. You can really get the eggs however you want. If you don't like eggs, they also have chicken. They have beef. They have salmon. They have fish. They have everything for breakfast. So make sure you get a big portion of protein and then if, if you're not worried about cutting, then also get a good portion of carbs to make sure you have enough glycogen for the rest of the day. If you're cutting, what I would do, or what I normally do is get a huge plate of protein, just like this one, kind of lean protein. So only two eggs and no cheese or so, and then limit your carbs. So have a big, big serving of fruit. Fruit will help you both get some pretty healthy carbs and also keep you satiated for a, for a while. It will help with sweet cravings, so make sure you get a huge bowl of fruit, eat that first with your protein, and then if you want to snack a little croissant or something, then you know by then you won't be very, very hungry or won't have very, a lot of uh, sweet cravings. And then also if you're cutting and you're leaving the hotel, you can have a big breakfast and not worry about food until you get back to the hotel. The French toast is incredible. Have you tried the French toast, babe? And if you're bulking, you really do not have to worry about anything because you have access to everything in breakfast. If you're staying in a, in a hotel that has breakfast included or uh, an all-inclusive hotel, bulking is very, very easy. Let's try the... The cream cheese filled one. Nope. 
Let's see if the cinnamon's real. Passes the test. Yeah. We ended up coming to a private beach, you might say. I don't know why, but everything here in Cancun, you need to pay for in a way or another. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a regular beach. It's just a it's it's really nice, it's not regular. I think it's too bright. Yeah, no, it's a very nice beach, but what I mean is just a beach. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, there's a restaurant next to it. So you need to be a, a customer. So you need to order food or drinks or something for you to be allowed into the beach. The good thing is that, you know, they have uh, this canopies or however you call them. They got seats and they also have a, a swimming pool inside. So yeah, it's it's good and, and food food looks incredible. Let's try this. This is the ceviche. Wow. Wow. And this is the cocktail. Prawn and octopus cocktail. Mmm. Oh my god. <clears throat> wow. Doesn't get any fresher than this. We had a very good workout session in a new gym which by the way we met um, Zach from Zach Smith Fitness I think it's his IG I'll put it on the screen but uh, very very good bloke I DM'd him yesterday asking him for recommendations about gyms in the area and he gave me two recommendations one of them was the gym we went today which was actually very very decent I think it's probably the best gym there is in Cancun And then we met him in the gym today by coincidence and very very nice bloke he was very good very chatty very yeah super nice guy very very humble guy and the plan is to I don't know really we're on holidays it's our honeymoon so there's no plans there's no schedule 5 30 p.m. here in Cancun I think we'll stay here till as late as we can potentially until they close the, the restaurant and then uh, back to the hotel. If you want to make good and smart choices, you you probably will always be able to. If you don't make good choices, on uh, talking about food wise, while you're traveling, it's because you didn't want. Because this right here has maybe 50 grams of protein, the whole thing. And this right here, the same, just with a little bit of carbs maybe because it's got some sauce. Yes, it's sweet. But still. It's very, very diet friendly. Only thing not very diet friendly, maybe beers and alcohol, which if you're on holidays and you're not competing soon and you're not worried about weight, then just like me, I don't usually drink alcohol. In fact, I never do drink alcohol. But every now and then, you know, if you're in the beach with a nice, place of, a nice plate of ceviche, then you can enjoy a beer. <laughs> Like you see, I never drink alcohol uh -huh. or a cocktail for that matter. We've also been drinking a lot of cocktails in the hotel because they're free. So we've been enjoying some good margaritas and pina coladas and then some other crazy named drinks. But it's very colorful, everything. And if you're cutting, then yeah, try to stay away from alcohol as much as you possibly can. A beer won't hurt you here and there, but if you like alcohol, those are empty calories. So they won't fill you up. They won't provide any energy for the gym. They won't really do anything to you other than get you drunk and make you fat. So try to avoid alcohol if you're a, a heavy drinker. If you're cutting, if you're bulking and you don't mind, then just drink all the alcohol you want. Chicken nuggets. Don't see that. Kind of a different day today. We came to a ex caret. Yeah, but in English, ex caret. I think is how you pronounce it. It's a, a kind of a natural park here in, in Mexico. You can think of it maybe as Disney, but all themed around nature. So everything is natural. It's right next to the sea. You got like. A lot of um, natural pools, I don't know how you call them in English, like natural 
uh, salt water pools. Then there's like rivers that go underwater, go through caves, uh, and it's it's pretty nice. It's it's really pretty chill. Have you enjoyed it so far? Mm, it is. Yeah, I mean, it is very expensive. So because we're on our honeymoon, and you know, we want to make sure we have like good plans and we we enjoy our time here in Cancun. We didn't mind, but it, it was like 140 US dollars each. You, you get to spend the whole day and also you get one meal. So it's a, a buffet, you get to eat whatever you want. So we're trying to eat as much as we can just to make uh, our, our, our money's worth. We already swam through the rivers. Uh, it was good, you get to see like bats, there's like bat caves, so you go you just swim, like you put a life jacket, and you just swim across a river that takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And um, you go underground, you go through caves, through a canyon and stuff. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool, really. It's pretty incredible to see and to experience. They also have like some extra activities, which I don't know if we're gonna do. You can swim with dolphins, you can swim with sharks, you can swim, swim with stingrays, you can do like speed boat. There's a whole bunch of activities, but you need to pay extra for those. And I'm not sure if we're gonna pay extra for those because they're very expensive. For, for example, swimming with dolphins is like an extra, it's like an extra hundred dollars for I don't know, maybe 10, 20 minutes swimming with dolphins. So I don't know if it's worth it or not, but I don't think we'll do them. We enjoy my food now and then. We'll probably go to the beach and maybe chill or something. Oh, snorkeling, right? There is like some a coral reef and you get to do some snorkeling there, so I think that's what we'll do after we, we have lunch. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing much more today. <laughs> that's 140 quid down the drain. I hope it stops raining soon. Otherwise, we literally waste our money or at least half of our money. Because we've only done like half of the activities you can do in the park. Just having an old fashioned before we have our romantic dinner here at the hotel. It's pretty late now. Probably just going to bed after this one. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to drop it a like, share, subscribe, all the videos. See you guys in the next video. Yeah, I appreciate it.